Hi guys, myself Vijay Tavardhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of solids. And an example problem is like this. A hexagonal prism 25 mm sides of base and 50 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its edges. Draw the projections of the prism when the axis is inclined to HP at 45 degree and appears to be inclined to VP at 40 degree. Now according to the given conditions, go to applications macros run macro select the inside polygon and the inside polygon is available in the path which is shown here and then click on open then select the flat line the size of the hexagon is given as 25 millimeter and number of sides in the hexagon is always six click on apply relationship then press the here left click on the screen anywhere so that one can get a hexagon which is aside resting change the hexagonal thickness to 0.5 millimeter and it can be positioned in the HP at the appropriate position and afterwards using a line command with a thickness of 0.13 draw any two perpendicular sorry draw any two diagonals to identify the center of the polygon the center of the <coughs> hexagon or a polygon and then project it till the x y line and project all the required points till the x y line to draw the front view now to draw the front view one has to know that the front view of the prism is always a rectangle henceforth this is the going to be the maximum word so which is going to be a fixed and the height is given in the question as 50 mm so one will set the angle as sorry the height as 50 millimeter then here we are going to draw a dark line because this is a visible edge here behind the visible edge one is going to have the axis and then invisible edge all the three position is going to be shown there and then make use of a smart dimension command show that the size of the hexagon is 25 millimeter and height of the solid is 50 millimeter then make use of the text command and start naming the corners like this this as a and inside the bracket a1 then bb1 b b1 and this is going to be marked as c c1 and this corner is going to be marked as d d1 and this corner is going to be marked as e e1 and this corner is going to be marked as f f1 and in the same fashion this point is going to be marked as the axis position o o1 now in the same fashion the front view is also supposed to be named so we shall start with the bottom base so bottom base will be taken as b1 dash as well as inside the bracket a1 dash then followed by c1 dash c1 dash as well as we have f1 dash and then we have d1 dash as well as e1 dash now one can be a doubtful why we have not drawn the o1 dash o1 dash i am going to draw it here so that uh, the line length is not going to be increased too much so that we can draw the things very properly so we will create a o1 dash over here properly now o1 dash has been represented there and after these representations now we have to go with the top base namings now in the top base this will be named as b dash as well as a dash and then we have c dash as well as f dash and also o dash here it can be marked very easily and then d dash as well as a dash now after go, uh, giving the markings then what is the next stage the next stage is axis is inclined to hp at 45 degree for which one has to select the front view go with the command called as move move the front view with respect to the resting edge e1 dash it should be repositioned on the x y line at a convenient distance then go for rotate command select the base e1 dash to b1 dash and the base edge inclination is 90 minus angle theta that is 90 minus 45 at an angle of 45 degree one has to rotate this one front view then make use of a line command with the axis position as a reference one has to measure the axis inclination the axis inclination is measuring 45 degree then one can proceed to the next stage now with the line command with a continuous line and a 0.13 mm as a thickness start drawing the respective 
projectors. Now the respective projectors while drawing we should be very very careful because the number of lines are keep on increasing here. So which may leads to confusion. So without any confusion one has to complete the drawings here. Now B dash A dash is going to be projected till here and this A, D and this is going to be the C1 is going to be projected up to the C1 here and then B1 is going to be projected up to here. So here let us lock the value as 90 degree and then so B A is supposed to be up to here so we'll uh, trim off this portion and the axis portion is not yet drawn so we'll draw the axis position so the axis portion is going to be drawn from here to here now this is nothing but the axis line so we'll take this axis line position as axis line directly which can be shown here in this problem very clearly then make use of uh, the text command and start naming the respective corners what we have projected now this will be taken as a1 b1 c1 and this is going to be d1 and e1 and f1 accordingly this will become o1 in the same fashion this will be o and then we have a b c d e and this is going to be f now using a line command with 0.5 and a continuous line one has to complete the boundary line according to the rules of visibility now the boundary line a1 b1 c1 c d e f f1 and a1 is going to be the boundary line and the second point is identify the visible base and make it visible this is what the visible base go to the line command with the same thickness of 0 0.5 the base edges that is f to a a to b b to c is going to be the visible edges and after making this as visible edges identify the invisible base the invisible base will be obviously the bottom base then that has to be joined as a dashed lines that is f1 to e1 the intersection symbol has to be uh, obtained here now we got an intersection and e1 is end point and again c1 now I will just uh, relocate the position of E1 over here so that it is going to improve the visibility. Then we have to join the longer edges. Now what are the longer edges what we are going to draw here which we have to be a visible and invisible. Now E E1 is going to be joined as an invisible edge because it is passing inside the visible base. And also D D1 is going to be joined as an invisible line because it is passing inside the visible base. In the same fashion, the next is visible edges that is A A1 is going to be the visible edge because it is passing inside the invisible base. Now B B1 is also passing inside the invisible base hence it is also supposed to be the visible edge. Now the C C1 and F F1 is going to be the boundary which is already drawn. Now one can see that the projections has been completed as per the given conditions. Now after this, what is the next stage? Now the axis appears to be inclined to VP at 40 degree. Now one can see that the length of the axis is getting reduced from 50 to 35.36 but the given angle is an apparent angle. So this axis O1 is drawn at apparent angle 40 degree for which one has to go for a line command with a continuous line and 0.13 mm thickness and just draw an inclined line like this. Then the angle of this line is supposed to be set for 40 degree which is given in the question. Then whatever the extension which is going there can be trimmed. Now after this then we know that O and O1 is supposed to be on this line. So what I will be doing I am going to move this 40 degree line slightly towards the right side so that we will get more by better space. Then I will select the top view then I will go with a move command move with respect to the O1, O1 is supposed to be on the angle beta line and then go for rotate and select A1 is already on the beta line and O should be on the beta line that is on the 40 degree line. Now one can see that the rotation is being completed. Then 
go with a line command with a thickness of 0.13 start drawing the projectors to get the front view in this stage now starting with d i will connect d to d and along with d we have e so as i told you and i am as i am keep on stating you the number of lines are keep on increasing here the patience is so much important to draw the lines here so we are about to complete one of the phase and then to get the o get the end point symbol of the axis which we have drawn and that has to be projected till here then the bottom base one base is finished we shall go to the bottom base d1 is up to the xy line as well as e1 is also up to the xy line then c1 is up to this height so just move the cursor to get the c1 position so along with c1 we have f1 as well as axis o1 to get the axis move the cursor on the axis line you will get the end point symbol so connected then a and b is remaining so we shall complete the a and b so b is completed the final remaining one is a so a is going to be completed now once all these lines has been drawn then make use of the text command start naming the corners now this will become a1 dash and this will become b1 dash and this will be c1 dash and then this is going to be uh, d1 dash so d1 dash is here d1 dash and this is going to be e1 dash and this is going to be f1 dash and this is going to be o1 dash in the same fashion a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash and this is going to be f dash and this is going to be o dash now go to a line command according to the rules of visibility so the first preference should be given to the boundary lines which is the boundary line starting with a 1 dash join it to a dash b dash c dash d dash then d1 dash after which e1 dash then f1 dash then a1 dash which is going to be the boundary so here this is not mentioned as a dash we will change it as a dash okay now one can see that we have completed the boundary after completing the boundary identify the visible base and make it visible now a1 b1 c1 d1 this is a base which is away from the xy line and it is nearer to the observer hence this base is visible that is a1 to b1 b1 to c1 c1 to d1 that is a1 b1 c1 d1 even f1 is visible so a1 b1 b1 c1 c1 d1 is visible base and the other base is obviously invisible base so we shall uh, use the line command with the invisible line that is the dashed line will join the remaining things that is a dash to f dash and f dash to e dash and e dash to d dash as a invisible edges and after which the longer edges has to be connected such of the longer edges passing inside the visible base will become invisible inside the invisible base will become visible so make use of a line command and change the line trail to a continuous line now b b dash b dash and b1 dash is going to be the visible because it is passing inside the invisible base and c c1 is also passing inside the invisible base and then f f1 and e e1 will pass inside the invisible base sorry visible base hence it becomes invisible now the axis line has to be drawn with a chain line with the thickness of 0 0.13 from o1 dash to o dash now one can say that the projection is completed in all aspects as per the given conditions in the questions now if you are having any sort of doubts please feel free to contact me and please kindly share this video to all your first year engineering students and also do subscribe to my youtube channel once again thanks for watching my channel